Okay, here is a straight to the point tutorial on how to upload an avatar to VRChat. So you want to go to vrchat.com, you want to click this download button right here and it's going to bring you to this page. Once you get to this page, you want to go to the download SDK free avatars and click it. While that's downloading, you want to click setting up the SDK, which is going to bring you here. Once you're here, you want to click current version of Unity, which will bring you to this little page here. And then you want to click this right here. That's going to bring you to this page. Once you're on this page, you want to click Unity Editor 64-bit. Make sure that it's definitely this version of Unity that you're downloading, as this is the only compatible version with VRChat avatars currently. Once you've downloaded this, it's going to ask you to also download Unity Hub. You do make sure that you do that. You need it. It helps you open up all your projects and things. You will have to make an account with Unity. Not that big of a deal. Uh, it's just so that you can make your projects and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, you just, just make the account. It's, it's not that huge of a deal. You don't have to constantly log in every time you try to make a Unity project. Um, so once you have all of these, you want to get Poyomi, which is the shader that almost all avatars use. I will link this down in the description below. Um, you want to get this one right here or this one right here, depending on whatever the avatar requires. I personally prefer using 7.3.50, but uh, you can use the newest version if that's what the avatar deems. On to buying the avatar itself, if you don't know where to get any, you can go to places like Jinxie. I will also leave a link for this down below. Uh, Jinxie is really good. You can search any keyword in here and it'll come up with creators from all different types of websites like Gumroad, Payhip, uh, Selfie or Selfie, whatever it's called. Um, so you'll find a lot of a lot of uh, sellers on here that sell lots of VRChat avatars and assets, not just the avatars themselves. I personally prefer using Gumroad, which looks like this. Uh, I really like Gumroad. Uh, but I also really like Jinxie, so. On to making the avatar. You want to open up your Unity, and yours is probably going to look a little different than this because my Unity hub is a little outdated, but I, I like how it looks, so I kept it on this one. You want to click New. And it's going to ask you to make a project. You want to make sure that it's a 3D project, and then you put your name in here, and you can name it, like, anything you want, whatever. I don't need to make one right now because I have one right here, Diana for video. I'm going to be uploading my avatar, Diana. Uh, I will also leave a link to that in the description below. Um, so once you have your Unity project open, it is going to take a few minutes to open. It, depending on how good your PC is and how much RAM you have, it might take a little bit longer. Uh, it might not take long at all. It's really dependent on the type of build you have for your PC. Once you have this open, now you can start importing things. So you want to start with your SDK first, and then you can do your shaders and anything else before you put the avatar in. So I'm going to use this uh, SDK. It will take a while to import each of them, so don't think that like your Unity is broken or something if it takes a really long time to import things. It's just a whole part of the process. I'm probably going to cut this video up just to make the time even shorter so you don't have to watch me upload every single one of them into Unity. Um, but yeah, make sure that you follow these instructions perfectly and you should be fine. Okay, so now we have our VRChat SDK in here. You're going to have a little window come up right here. This is the control panel. I'm already logged in, but it will ask you to log in. So you want to just make sure that you log in on here. Again, if I did that a little too fast, so you click VRChat SDK and then show control panel, and this is where you log in. And then the builder, once you have your avatar in here, is going to be where you actually upload the model. Content manager will have all of your avatars that you've previously uploaded, uh, so you can delete them if you want to. So next we're going to import the shader, which is Poitune. Also, I am going to be importing uh, the DPS system by Ralev in here. I will leave a link to that also in the description. Um, this is required by the avatar that I'm uploading. When you buy an avatar in the description, it will tell you what it needs. Sometimes it will include those things in the package, like the shader, because that's free. But other times it will link things like the Rally DPS system so that you can buy that separately. Uh, that just allows NSFW things on the avatar. It's optional. If you don't want to have it, then you don't have to. So just make sure every time that little window comes up, you click import and you uh, put all of the package into Unity. Uh, 
All right, so next I'm going to quickly put the Rally of DPS system in here just because it's required by the avatar that I'm uploading. As I said before, your avatar may not need this. Even if it does, it is an optional add-on. You don't have to put it there if you don't want to. All right, so this is where you would open up your avatar package. Uh, so usually your package will have things included in it, like credits. Sometimes there'll be like a little readme like this, which tells you exactly what order to import things. Really straightforward and simple. Sometimes they'll have like a picture or a video of the avatar. You've probably already seen all that on the Gumroad. So what you want to do is find the one with the name off the avatar. You want to double click it and import it in here. Okay, so now that everything is uploaded, you want to click into the little file here. It'll usually say open me or it'll have the name of the avatar, something like that. It'll be something that indicates that you have to open this file. So you go in here, there is usually going to be a prefab or a scene. Most likely it's going to be a scene. So you want to double click the scene. Uh, just for reference, if it's a prefab, it'll look something like this and then you just drag and drop it onto here. This one's an FBX, but a prefab will have the materials on it and things. So once you're in your scene, you can see minimum things, take a look around if you want to. Uh, this scene has a picture of the avatar that's for the thumbnail, which we'll talk about once we've got to the last part of uploading. You don't have to focus on that for now. Um, in order for you to look around and stuff, you will have to come up here and move to the little hand. So you can drag the screen around and you can zoom in and out. And then this little compass here will control the direction that you're going in. And if you press the little square, it'll put you in like 2D or 3D mode. I like to be in 2D mode. So, once you've got all of this figured out, this should be empty. If this blueprint ID right here isn't empty, once you click the avatar, you just want to click detach and it'll get rid of it for you. Uh, let me just delete this. I should not have left this in the scene. <laughs> um, everything in here, sometimes it'll be a little bit different. Sometimes it won't. If you have full body, you want to make sure that this is unchecked. Otherwise, it will force your legs to have tracking and that will be really silly because you're, you've got full body. You have your own tracking. You don't need the game to do it for you. Really quick before we upload it, this is a super simple thing. Lots of people prefer to do this. Um, you can change the height of the avatar. So I personally like mine to be on a 0.85. Make sure that it's the same on all of them, but you can change it to be whatever you want. One is pretty tall. It's like what most of the e-boys are in VR chat. Uh, 0.85 is kind of short. It's more on the small side. If you do change the height of your avatar right up here on the scale, you want to make sure that you change your view position. So you want to click edit on view position right here. If it's not like that, you can drop it down, it's fine. And then you'll get this little ball here. So I drag mine up so it's just between the eyes. And then I turn her face around. And I bring it, I'll bring it forward just a little bit. I like it to be just behind the eyes. Make sure that it's in between them in the middle. You only have to change this if you're changing the height of your avatar. If not, you can leave everything the same. Uh, that is basically your camera in game. So. If you scaled your avatar up and then left your camera right there, your ch your camera would be like in your chest when you're in the game and not in your head. If you made yourself smaller and left the camera, your viewpoint would be like all the way above you when you're in game and you wouldn't be able to like be proportionate with your avatar. So now that you've got all of that done, your avatar is right there. Because you're new to things, I really would not recommend fucking around with the colors and stuff right now. Do that in the future once you're more comfortable with Unity. You go to your uh, control panel right here. You're gonna have this little window come up and you just literally wanna click build and publish your windows. All right. Sometimes it'll ask you to lock some materials before you uh, upload your avatar. That's fine, just click yes and it'll lock them for you. It'll come up with like a little screen that's loading. Uh, this is what takes the longest. So I recommend going getting yourself a drink or like watching some YouTube or something. I'm going to cut the video, but uh, yeah, this, this will take a while because it has to compile everything to get it ready for the game. Okay, now that you're ready, you're going to come up with this little window right here. So you can name your avatar. Obviously, I'm going to call this one Diana, but I'll put uh, video after because I already have her uploaded. Um, 
you want to check this little bit here. The above information is accurate and I have the rights to upload this content to VRChat. You want to make sure that it's on private. Very rare. I would say that you would ever be allowed to upload an avatar publicly unless it is one that you've made yourself and you want it to be public. Uh, so keep it private if you've been told in the TOS when you bought the avatar to keep it private. Last thing we're going to do is for VRC cam right here. You want to click this. I like to just usually do a white background, so you do this color, make it white, solid color, there you go, uh, and I check physical camera. And then what I normally would do, if the avatar didn't come with a preview picture, is I would just do this, just move the camera up a little closer to the face, and there you go, and then that would be the preview picture. But this one does have a preview picture, so I'm going to move the camera Lift it up a little bit. Pull it out. Let me move it to the side a little bit, center it more. There we go. So this will be the picture that comes up on your viewer chat when you select the avatar when you want to wear it. And then you just click upload. And it is that simple. Once this is done, it'll say congratulations, your VR chat avatar has been uploaded, and you can click OK. And then you can go in the game and check her. Uh, and I will do that in a second just to make sure that it actually uploaded. Something to note is that if you have just made your VRChat account or you're new to the game and you haven't played for quite a few hours yet, you will not be able to upload anything. You can have the whole project ready, but you won't be able to upload anything or log into the control panel up here uh, until you've played the game for a few more hours. And it will say when you try to log in, uh, you can upload yet, you're not allowed. Basically, you'll get a notification in-game or via your email depending on what you made your account on, if it was with Steam or with the actual VRChat website and it will tell you that you're ready. So just play for a few hours. I wouldn't say it's that many. My friend, she wanted to upload and I think she got to after like maybe two free hours of gameplay. Uh, yeah, and that's it. That is how you upload an avatar to VRChat. It's really not as complicated or as overwhelming uh, as it seems. There you go. Okay, so once you're in game, I'm just in my uh, my home world right now. Oh, I'm sliding all over the place. Okay. Uh, here's a mirror. Uh, currently, I'm wearing Delora, which is by my friends at New Eden. They're super cool. A uh, really good avatar. She's great for Halloween. So this is where the avatar should be that you uploaded. Uh, as you can see, I have my other ones that I've uploaded previously, but um, it'll be in your avatar page for those of you that don't know. It'll be right here. So here's the one that we just did. I'm going to click change into avatar. And there you have it. Your avatar is uploaded. It's ready to use. Um, yeah, that's about it. I yeah, I hope the tutorial was informative and uh, got the point across quick enough. Have a good day and enjoy your avatars.